Hi, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's angel reading. And we did have a full moon, and I just want to say it was a beautiful moon. I was able to see it today when I was at a lake, and I was not aware that I was going to see it because it was kind of dark, and I'd never been to that um, woods before. So when I turned around, I just, like, screamed, and I was so... <laughs> I guess not frightened with fear, but frightened with, like, amazement because it was so clear and big, and it was my first time seeing it alone because usually I see it in the city where it's surrounded by buildings and other lights. So just to see it that way was amazing. So a uh, full moon blessing to everyone watching us. And let's see what the angels have to say for this week as it is a new month um october i love october i love halloween so hopefully all of you can have fun as well this month so please angels what do you have to tell us for this week so i already shuffled them so i'm just going to cut the deck and this is for monday tuesday and a bit of wednesday and here we have listen it says, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and, and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. So the angels are aware that we have been praying to them. And we've been asking for God, for his guidance, and also for signs. But the angels say a lot of us just do not want to really focus and take in as much as we can. So just quiet your mind, as the angels say, and really slow down mentally Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, really try to allow... Um, silence to help you, um, you know, being balanced in, in the way you're receiving and giving um, messages, communication. Uh, and right now it's just better for you to listen and to be guided so that way you could find the best solutions that you're really looking for. So thank you, dear angels. And please don't worry, as this card says. So really have faith in that everything is working out and listen so thank you dear angels so let's see what it says for the middle of the week it says have confidence this is moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself confidence in God is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. And we will buoy your courage and faith. So with this beautiful card in the middle of the week, the angel says that um, we have to have confidence. And, you know, sometimes we lose hope in ourselves and, we're trying to really reach out to something, so reach out to God. You know, his confidence and the confidence of the angels and the angelic realm and even of the saints and um, holy masters can help you as well. So really, um, again, have time, right? Have time to take your time. <laughs> In other words, don't try to rush into any negative feeling, really be courageous, know that you are enough and you are um, God's child, so you have something divine to give, so when you're feeling like giving, when you feel like doing something, have confidence in that, so don't waver, remember, reach out to the angels to help you keep going. So thank you, dear angels, for that lovely message. So let's see what it says for the weekend. And here we have acceptance. And it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels. 
with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So a lot of times it's easy for us to make judgments, to think that we know everything, right, especially about people and situations and the angels for this week and want us to really be with open arms, accept everything as it is, and even, and that means even ourselves and people, um, and to use more of, of your unconditional, unconditional love for the planet and everyone in it. And accepting things just means that you realize that everything is where it's supposed to be and that God is in everyone and everything. So I'm going to repeat that. Accepting things just means that God is in everyone and everything. So that's going to help you inspire and lift everyone else up to their highest potential. And, of course, as you know, um, we're heading towards the end of the year, and this means that we are transforming and the angels are aware that we don't want to be anxious and fearful and in darkness anymore. It is a, it is a time to be in light. And in light there, that means that there has to be unconditional love and acceptance. So the more you practice unconditional love and acceptance of God's light in everyone and everything, things will change for the better. So thank you for being with me um, during this session. And again, have a great new month. And may the angels be with you. And don't be afraid to take action in your life and to be active in your life and to ask the angels for help as you're trying to get better, as you're trying to reach your goals and dreams. Bye-bye.